Good, good afternoon. Michael has been such a wonderful partner and advocate, and I was so touched by his comments, so thank you. And my heartfelt thank you to the board and the leadership of the Y for this extraordinary honor. Uh, I was so humbled to be among today's incredible recipients. So congratulations to you all, and thank you very much. As the profession's recipient, I reflected on jobs, careers, professions. I've had a lot of them, and they've been very diverse. But there's one constant thread, and that's sports. Why do sports matter for girls and for women? Why should we care? I assure you, sports is so much more than just a game. The visibility of sport in our society allows it to serve as a guardrail for equity in our education system and a tool to drive social change. Do we remember that before the passage of Title IX in 1972, it was perfectly legal to discriminate against women? Girls were not encouraged to take science to math and technology. Many of our nation's leading law schools, business schools, and medical schools had quotas about how few women they could admit. There were no sports programs for girls, maybe a little tennis, maybe a little swimming, definitely no team sports. Only one in 34 girls even had access to high school athletics. It's a competitive world. Without the opportunity to play, where do we learn to compete, to lead, and to take risks? In the early 1970s, at the height of the feminist movement, Billie Jean King felt that even the visionary Gloria Steinem didn't fully appreciate the power of sport to drive social change. As the story goes, Billie pleaded, Gloria, you should use us more. Ms. Steinem said, Billie, this is about politics. Billie exploded, we are politics. Girls, Playing sports helps girls like me and probably many of you in this room to find our leadership voices and to have the confidence to use them. It is the life skills of goal setting, discipline, teamwork, perseverance that enable us to contribute in meaningful ways. It's the healthy behaviors that sport requires that serves our society so well. Positive body image, strong muscles, bones, self-reliance, greater independence. In the last 40 years since Title IX, there has been a sea change of progress. Girls participating in high school sports has gone from one in 34 to one in two and a half. Female college athletes has gone from a mere 3,000 to 180,000, many who are receiving financial scholarship. And finally, thankfully, women can pursue professional sports as a career. It seems so natural today to see women leading in all walks of life. However, the statistics sh tell us that women are still making 70% of a man for the same work. As Glory, uh, Gloria and Billy taught us, it is about politics. In the House of Representatives, 17% 17, 17 of the people are women. 20% of your U.S. Senators, only five of 50 governors are women. And then we have the issue of the White House. It is critical that we remain vigilant to protect this law and to protect the rights of all of our citizens. There's clearly much work to do. I commend the Y for all that you do to empower women. You help build self-reliance and self-confidence. You prepare future leaders, and you have enhanced our world. It is a privilege to be a friend of your community, and I am honored and humbled to accept this award. Thank you so much.